the main challenges in the field of assisted reproductive technologies is managing age-related fertility loss. Age-related fertility loss mostly affects females as spermatogenesis in men is almost a lifelong process while women are born with a finite reserve of eggs which declines over time. Natural aging is part of the deal of being a human being. But when we're faced with premature aging of the eggs, a condition known as premature ovarian failure, then we have something else to deal with. Premature ovarian failure is something which leads to premature menopause. This means that the limited ovarian reserves which are expected to remain viable and last until mid-40s tend to decline many years before that. We've seen patients enter menopause in their 30s and even in their 20s. Ovarian PRP treatment is specifically designed for women suffering from premature ovarian failure. PRP application in so ovarian soft tissue aims at cellular growth and proliferation in the ovaries based on many properties of platelets. Alpha granules on platelets have been found to be rich in certain growth factors which take part in wound healing and tissue regeneration. The main ones include epidermal growth factor, vascular endothelial growth factor, transforming growth factor beta 1 and beta 2, and several classes of platelet-derived growth factors, insulin-like growth factor and hepatocyte growth factor. Even though PRP achieves success in many women well into their late 40s, the main benefits are seen with women in their late 30s or early 40s who are experiencing premature ovarian failure. We believe that this is due to the presence of a large number of primordial follicles which don't quite make the commitment to ovulation, but remain open to being stimulated. If you're especially younger than 45 years of age and suffer from premature decline in your ovarian activity, ovarian PRP treatment can help achieve a viable pregnancy.